Last season, in a run-first offense, Justin Jefferson, as a rookie, finished fourth in receiving yards, third among all wideouts. Travis Kelsey, a tight end, he finished second in that category. So far through the first five games of this 2021 season, Jefferson, again in a run-first offense, is sixth in receiving yards. There is no sophomore slump with this guy. This isn't some, oh my God, he's one of the top 25 under 25 players. No, he's one of the elite playmakers in the National Football League. And admittedly so, I those that have been following me for a while, you already know this, but for those that are new here, when the Vikings traded Stefan Diggs to Buffalo and used that first round pick on Justin Jefferson out of LSU, I was mad. I compared this dude to Mohamed Sanu. I said, oh, he's going to be a solid wide receiver too, but I'm just, I don't know. I'm very hesitant with this pick. Needless to say, it's the most wrong I've ever been on this show. And maybe some of this has to do with PTSD from the Randy Moss trade where we sent Moss to the then Oakland Raiders for Napoleon Harris and used that first round pick, the seventh pick overall in the 2005 draft on Troy Williamson. But I was wrong about that. I'm going to have to deal with that forever. It's cool. But moving from Diggs to Jefferson was such a boss move. Credit to Rick Spielman which is why I go back and forth on the general manager because on one hand, he's so smart and he's made so many amazing moves for this roster. On the other hand, he does so much dumbass shit that it's hard to figure him out. Hey, over here, I'm going to trade Stefan Diggs. I'm going to flip-flop Stefan Diggs for Justin Jefferson. Oh, hell yeah. Two thumbs up. On the other side, I'm going to trade for Chris Herndon. What? Now, Diggs could always create separation for himself with his supreme route running. Jefferson, he's good at route running as well. But Diggs, with his breaks, they were so crisp, so on point. All he needed was an inch to get the reception. Justin Jefferson, great at route running as well. But the difference is, even when there's tight coverage, when he's blanketed, he could always find a way to ad-lib his body and adjust himself as necessary to still come down with the football. Throw it up, he's going to get it. He's on his way to top five status by the end of the year, which is why it's so wild that the Vikings against Detroit in the second half pretty much avoided Jefferson. It's also crazy how the Vikings don't straight up use the Randy ratio with Justin Jefferson, meaning... 40% of Kirk Cousins' passes should be targeted to Justin Jefferson. Right now, so far through the first five games, Cousins has 191 pass attempts. 45 have gone to Jefferson. That's 31 too short. Last year, fourth in receiving yards with the 18th most targets. So far this year, sixth in receiving yards with the 12th most targets. Get this man the ball. It's science at this point. Extend drive, score more points, reduce the chances of every single game coming down to the wire like it has so far through the first five games of this season. Give this man the Randy ratio. Hell, the Packers are damn near doing it with Devontae Adams. Do it with Justin Jefferson. Feed this man and give this team a better chance to win. Next video is tomorrow. We'll see you then. 